dark screen slowly fade into Capcom Cry where Resident Evil for Menu screen What's up guys is out of batteries Select a storage device so we can play Resident Evil 4. It will be saved. In fact, it just saved right then. Well, uh, Evan here from Out of Batteries played Resident Evil 4. Trademark. And, uh, this game is very good. I played it, I've only played it through, like, a couple times, maybe three. Um, when I, I got this when Xbox Live went on that big ho hootie booty skate, um, sale and sold a whole bunch of games it was originally twenty dollars i got it for ten dollars what a steal not a deal a steal and i played about to the fourth chapter and i was i'm like i'm definitely doing a let's play on this so i so i uh hit record and here we are now all right so 1998 oh that was the best year ever the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the International Pharmaceutical Enterprise. Oh, I thought he was gonna mess up the word pharmaceutical. Whoa, it's an umbrella. It looks like the umbrella that Kirby uses, and Kirby, I believe it's called Dream of Mirrors. Good game. Hmm. Any chances? The President of the United States ordered a contingency plan. To sterilize Raccoon City. I wonder what president it would have been. Let's do the math, guys. 2005, that was... Uh, let's see. 2013. It's, uh... Does anybody know what 13 minus 5 is? No. It's 8. Um... It might have been... It, it might have been the end of Clinton's term. Seems like some Bill Clinton would do. Where's he before? Alright, cool. Alright, play. Play the game. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. Six years have passed. Why didn't he say six years later? His words gotta match up with the words that appear on the screen. Oh, Leon. Leon's got beaver fever. He wore that hair before it was even cool. Leon! Oh, yeah, text messages. I'm so popular. Shout out to Greer. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. Was he talking into a camera? I remember this game being a documentary. These guys are so silly. Sure boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, uh! Maybe you did. Dude. Leon is funny. He's comedian extraordinaire. And this guy's with his creepy voice, Elmo, and uh, Mr. Mr. Fantastic giving me driving the car right now. Wait a minute. What are we doing? Don't get hit by the dart. Go. Oh. Oh, that's how my dog died. Just kidding. He just lost a leg. He's still alive. I, was to take my I think. I haven't checked him. He's hundreds of five years old. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. I take the bet. It would have been Bush that would have been president. Information about a sighting of a girl very similar to the president's daughter. The president's daughter? Ashley. I know the president's daughter because I study that in history class. Just kidding. We haven't gotten there yet. No one cares about modern history. I've learned um, the American Revolution eight times in class. And I'm going to learn it again once I go to college. Uh, must be my imagination. Uh, must be my imagination. He says as he's about to die. It didn't take long. That guy's uh, actually the world's fastest peer. That was the record slow time for him, so. 
he was very, very sad about the amount of time it took him to pee at that pee. Alright. Wait a minute, there are only... What are we driving an SUV? You think we at least look cool driving could drive a jeep or something? Just up ahead is the village. Just up ahead is the village, son. I'll go and have a look around. Get in there. We'll stay and watch that car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the guy's pink shirt he's wearing under his right. hardcore police Parking outfits. Tickets. <laughs> Parking tickets. Jeez, who are these guys? Way to say it. Well, you can still. Yep, knew it. I knew it. They here. All right, what's up? What's up, Hunnigan? I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. What's up, Ingrid? Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. What's up, older? The subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's Ashley right. Graham. Wait a minute. That means the president's last name is Graham. This group is. They sure the wrong Alexander group. Graham Bell, 39th president of the United States. Talk to you later. Be on Looked it up on Wikipedia. Yahoo Answers, actually. Alright, so I guess I'm going to give instructions how to play this game, because I played this game on the PS2, but it was a little different on the PS2 than it was for the Xbox 360. That's a lie. It's the exact same as it was from the Xbox 360 to the PS2. And uh, I played a little bit. About the fourth, fourth chapter. Crap. Come. Alright. I'm gonna read that. I'm gonna reload this because they drop valuable stuff. And I don't wanna miss that. So. It's all about shooting this this little dude up here. His name is Roger. Back here. Okay. I know I'm really annoying, but I'm paranoid about bullets and stuff. I, you gotta keep track of the bullets. All right, kill that one. Oh my god! All right, well I'm not gonna waste all those bullets. I know I'm being really annoying, but this is important to me that I get the the sadies they drop. Oh, it did fly away. Or maybe it's already flying away. It knew it was coming to him. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not gonna reload that. The only reason I re is he he was still there. He was a ninja bird. I should have known. All right, spinal, spinal. If you know how that's pronounced, just type spinal in the comments because that'll help. All right. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm just gonna burst into your house, and, uh, yeah, I got a gun, but don't, don't think anything of it, just, uh, I'm just gonna stay in your house. Sir? 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 Is it cool if I just walk into your house with a gun? I mean, I know I'm, I'm an American, and this is probably, like, Yakerberg or something, some random country I've never heard of, but, um, uh, I was, uh, thinking if I, uh, Oh, sir, you're angry. Why are you so angry? I'm just, I just walked in your house. I just... Get out of my house. I did not say you could come in here. Alright, sorry, dude. Um, uh, I guess I'll... I'll just stand here. This is self-defense. What's wrong with you, sir? I only broke into your house with your gun. I said freeze. I said freeze. Okay, so basically Leon just walks in here and bursts into this guy's house, and this guy self-defenses himself, and Leon doesn't like it, so he just kills him. And then these guys run away, like the little not-cool dudes they are. And, and these guys, and this guy's neighbors heard something, because this is uh, Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Whoa, this crashed. Shit. Whoa, bleep that out. I'm not gonna believe that. That's too too much work. Is everything okay? No. A hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. And by neutralize, I mean kill. What if you were just sitting at your house and some dude came walking in? What if you were just chilled at your house and some dude came strolling in? with a gun and you're like dude and he asked you if you've seen someone you're like no please can you please leave my house and, and you're like okay and then then you realize he has a gun and you think he's gonna rob you 
So you swing an axe at him, and then you realize, whoa, okay, I was mistaken. Never mind, I'm just gonna go. And then he freaking shoots you in the head and kicks you and knifes you to death. By the way, what I do in this game, I shoot, shoot them. Crap. Because I like to save bullets, I shoot them in the face. And then I... Crap, that was waste. I shoot them in the face, then I kick them in the face, and then I knife them. And I will stop doing that soon enough. Kick, and then you run up, and little knifey. I'm mad. Oh. Did I kill him? Is he dead? He's not disappearing. Dude, you okay? I don't know, that's like a loaded bullet. Normally, when the guys die... Oh, I guess they're not zombies. They're just neighborhood folk. Um, alright. Well, anyways. You walk up here. There's gonna be a save point. And... Hold on, I'm a... Nice. Break into all these boxes. And I'm gonna go ahead. There's gonna be three ravens up here. I'm gonna shoot them and grab their goodies. And apparently Jimmy here didn't notice that Fred just got shot, so I'll take him out. I just thought it was only two ravens. So I take that back. And I'm gonna save this dog up here real quick. If you're playing this game, definitely save this dog because he will help you when you are fighting the um an enemy later so run away doggy immediately run into another bear trap they grow up so fast and then die immediately after in bear traps no one runs into bear traps stupid dog i right, see that's where that's where i was playing before just to refresh my mind i got i played eight and eight and a half hours of this huh Alright, so I'm definitely going to save at... I'll just save at 4. Leave a little buffer space in between my my old save and this save. And I might might go back and play on that one. I don't know. You don't know me. You're not God. You don't know who has a soul. No, who doesn't? Oh, gingers have souls. Alright. Um, so you're going to run along. There's going to be a red, up, red herb up here. What was that? Oh, it's just that thing. And am I good? Am I? I am good. I'm legend, actually. Shout out to that movie. Worst CGI, CGI animations ever. All right. You don't want to avoid these because you don't want to end up like that dog and wait for some random American to come out of nowhere and help you. Because Leon has no I, has no problem busting into some dude's house and shooting him, uh, but because he tried to defend himself. But he is like he heartstrings play when dog when it comes to dogs. So he's all about that. All right. Dang. See, I have no idea what to even say about that. It's just messed up. What a what a waste of a perfectly good pitchfork. They could be. I don't even know what pitchforks are used for. Were pitchforks used just so people can like mob? Oh, nice, nice. Okay, I I missed more shots than that guy. Come on, come at me, really? Crap, I'm not doing good. I'm just going to use this. Nice. He sh he was wearing my hat. Oh my god. Did anyone hear that? I just went into like a time warp. And kicked these guys faces off. That was pretty impressive. And these guys don't even bother about shooting them. Because they're going to run off like the little people they are. This guy's creeping. He's uh, got his knees... Flexing and his arms T Rexing, he's doing the creep ba, he's doing the creep ba, and he thinks that I can't see him, so we're gonna have some fun with him. I'm gonna be like, hey guy, I can see you. No, I can see you, guy, I, I can see you. 
Who's getting a little bit? No, I can definitely see you. Oh. And even though I shot at you, you're just rocking about. I wanna rock with you. How does this guy not know his bullets flying by his face? Alright. I don't want to get hit by this guy. Hold on. Come on, show you a little elbow. Alright, I'm just going to run past him, and he'll be like, Boo, I got you. <laughs> you didn't know I was there. I surprised you. And then these guys will throw these little axes at you, and you can just shoot them out of the air or dodge them. You don't have to... It, it's hard to dodge them, really, unless they just have bad aim. But if they have good aim, they're going to get you. So just accept fate. Or you can kill them before they throw it. Or you could shoot it out of midair, which you feel like a ninja master when you do that. Did I ever say, did I ever do an introduction? I'm Evan from Out of Batteries. Bad question, All right. <laughs> I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. Hunnigan, this is real life. This ain't one of your child's video games. I don't have to hit A to reload or any of that stuff. I just need I just need to believe that I can save the world and destroy this small village. Alright, so you're gonna zoom in and all this stuff is kinda of boring. But the real reason they give you these binoculars is so you can check out these chickens. These chickens are the final bosses of the game. They're very hard, but hey, I think we can do it. Alright, so, up this village part, there's going to be two chainsaw guys. And before I fight them, I'm just going to run around and grab health and random stuff like that. Again, these people are just doing their average day stuff. And I come in, I shoot them in the face. Or... I try to shoot them in the face, and I kick them, and they're dead. Noise! Oh, come on. No! Really? Nice. So I guess pitchforks are made for moving hay, apparently. Um, uh, as that lady was doing. Alright, so I'm just gonna ignore those guys, because they don't have axes or anything, and they can't mess with me. Unless I, like, get up in their face and be like, Yo, man, I'm in your village, destroying your boxes. What you doing? They'll be like, Hey, hey, we spent our entire lives trying to... We, we spent our entire lives making this village and, uh, making those boxes. So if you could just not do that, that'd be great. Alright, there's gonna be shot shotgun cells up here. And there are two chainsaw guys. One of them you have to fight... Um, like one of them's optional to fight you don't have to fight him but I'm gonna fight him anyways because he drops some goodies and those goodies are very goody so I'm gonna giddy those goodies yeah someone called Dr. Seuss I'm on fire because Dr. Seuss is a firefighter alright there's gonna be yellow herb if I remember correctly I am the greatest man who has ever lived um what else? go up here these chickens will drop eggs, so do not shoot them. Uh, they, if they don't drop eggs, they just won't drop eggs. So, flash grenades are useless until later in the game, where the until the um, Los Pelagas start coming out of their face when you shoot them in the face. So, there's really no primer need to use those. Did anyone hear that? I just went through a time warp again when I hit, when I kicked them. Maybe that's always been in the game. Alright, well, I'm gonna combine these three. I'm gonna move them. Crap. I'm gonna move them over here. And. Um. Yellow herbs are the rarest. Well, yellow and red herbs are very rare in the game. Well, they're not rare. You just find them occasionally. If I take this. If I take this, it'll restore my health completely, and if I take this, it'll restore my health completely and make it so I can hold more health. And I'm flashing red right now. Um, Chainsaw Guy... I'm just gonna take this. Because I'm that great. Gangster. Dang! I am good. 
I am super good. I am super good. I'm I'm probably the greatest shot in Resident Evil ever. Seriously, I counted. I watched all other Resident Evil Let's Plays, and uh, none of them are as good as a shot as I am. Seriously, I did count. All right, these chicken eggs are good for you. Ugh. All right, once they do that, oh, that's a golden chicken egg. This, this will save your butt. I believe it heals you all the way. And apparently, these these uh these villagers, though they walk around carrying pitchforks and uh, no weapons, carry handgun ammo. So uh, always grab, always grab that. And. I need a grenade. Hold on. There's a grenade in here somewhere. Alright. Hold on. Actually, I don't think you have to fight either of the chainsaw guys, but they drop valuable stuff that I believe is worth. You get 20,000 pesetis. There we go. That's the grenade that I want. Alright. If you don't have to run out around and grab all this stuff like I'm doing right now, because it will be there after you fight the chainsaw guys, but there's a time limit to fighting the chainsaw. Move it. <laughs> no lady, I just jump right through her. Alright, so there's a time limit, and I believe it's like, I have no idea how long it is, but you only have a certain amount of time to fight the chainsaw guys. Here's the first one, and if these guys get you, they'll cut your head off, and shockingly, decapitated head instantly kills you, which is stupid. It shouldn't, but because, like, who needs heads? They're overrated. And that won't kill him, so I'm gonna knife him. I'm not gonna knife him because that won't do anything. I'm just gonna shoot him in the face. Nice. Kick him in the face. Just gotta clarify where I'm gonna kick him. Really? My guy started reloading. Who does that? Oh, I killed the chancel guy. Alright, so that's a ruby. That's worth 10,000 pesetis. And uh, pesetis are good in this game the more you want. Get them earlier in the game. Because they're the guys are easier in the game, so you don't want to. Oh, plus you'll get stuff later in the game. I'm an idiot for getting hit by that. Um, I'm gonna use a chicken egg. Yeah, that healed me all the way. So, um, normally I'm a stickler about organizing my stuff, and when I run in this thing, it's gonna be a little checkpoint. Oh, close that door, and apparently. Who are these people? I just busted into their village and started shooting everyone. What are they planning? These evil people. Great at chainsaw. Because I haven't seen one of those guys before. You're upstairs too? That guy's wearing my hat. Only I am allowed to wear hats. I checked on the rules of forever. I, I checked the rules of everything. And only I'm aware to I'm a, I'm allowed to wear my sock hat. Will's allowed to wear his Ravens hat. If you've never seen Will in his Ravens hat, which hopefully you never have seen Will in his Ravens hat, because that'd be kind of stalkery if you have seen Will in his Ravens hat. But get out of here! What you doing? Crap. Um, I believe they cannot throw these scythes, but still, be scared of them. All right. The second chainsaw guy, mm, I don't know what he's got, what I'm doing because he's gonna come in right here, jump. All right, these guys will hold you down, and the chainsaw guy will catch up to you. And that was really close. I almost died right there. All right, so basically, run back here and get in the corner because cornering yourself in a zombie apocalypse or just just angry um, uh, people apocalypse is very bad. I shoot him in the face because he deserves it. He uh, He's just trying to protect his village. So, obviously. Oh, I'm not going to kick him. Alright, so the good thing about the shotgun is I'm going to stick about bullets. Shoot that also knocks people down. Alright, so I need to kill that shotgun guy before... Before, did I kill him? Crap! I I need to kill him before the bell tower rings, which I believe is coming up. Nice! I just saved myself there. He would have kicked me in the face. 
Alright, nice. Alright, so he's dead. I don't know why the, sh the chainsaw guy takes so much longer to kill. He's literally just the guy with the chainsaw. He's not, he's not wearing armor or anything. He's just wearing, he just has a chainsaw and a bag on his head. Maybe it's just super bag. Maybe the bag employs a force field that comes down and protects us all. But, well, just him. Alright, so, you am gonna knock that down. And after that, I guess I have spare time. I'm just gonna run around and start collecting all this stuff. I'm not gonna waste bullets on these guys because these guys don't really drop anything besides they they all apparently carry around chest of uh, of uh, gold little chest of gold and uh, I respect that decision I mean I know I carry around chest of gold every day of my life so I'm just gonna run around and grab some of this stuff and eventually the bell tower will ring and all of them will disappear and they will run away and uh, yeah so I'm just gonna wait for that. I guess I'm gonna I'll push this in front of it. Just to wait them out. Alright. And don't waste a bullet on that, just knife it. I can't believe uh normally the bell tower would have rung by now. I'm not gonna be not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, because I love you guys. Like, I love you like you're my parents. Good God! Okay, did I crash the party? Okay, I'm about to die. Oh, see, that's the bell tower. They're all like, Good God, we're late for church. That guy's wearing my hat. And or Will's hat. And they just all drop the weapons. And move the feet to the groove of the rhythm of the Saturday Night Live. I don't know, but they all went to church. So now you're cle clear to steal everything and everything, Person anything and everything from their... Bingo? Oh! Neon S. Kennedy. Comedian extraordinaire. Where's everyone going? Bingo. <laughs> oh, Leon. Leon's probably the greatest man ever to live. Bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Wait a minute. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. Okay, that's almost that's almost too too ironic. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Yeah. So um uh so apparently this is one of these guys. Oh, please be, be the guy wearing the pink shirt. Um, I have no idea. But apparently, since they they crashed their car into a canyon, which I forgot to show you guys, but they totally did. Hold on. I'm going to kill this cow. Nice. I wonder if he drops anything. Well, now I just feel bad. Alright, but anyways, apparently in the 11 minutes it took... From those guys to ca crash their car, um, they stole their bodies and they burned it at the stake. So, you know, I don't know. It's kind of just irony, I guess. Not really irony at all, but I've been playing for half an hour. Good God, I need to end. I need to end this, and this is good. This is a good place to end. So. Crap, I didn't mean to go this long. I meant to go, like, a short one. But that's okay, because I love you guys, and you get more, more, more of my crappy Let's Plays than, uh, than you would have. So I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm gonna leave it off on a cliffhanger. Apparently, they have photos of me, which is creepy. I actually saw a, a photo of Will in his Raven's hat. Actually, so, uh, Will, watch your back, sleep with one eye open. Alright, so, yeah, I can't, I didn't mean to go this long, so, I'm sorry guys. You can watch this in 10 minute intervals, but I'm gonna get in this dumpster, and that's how we're gonna end. Oh, I can't get in the dumpster? <laughs> Fine, I'll just end it looking at these chickens. Because these chickens, you guys are special.
Chicken.